Mornings on 2 is hitting the road for a zip trip to Redwood City. Uh, you know, we, we talk about restaurants and um, uh, locales here like the Fox Theater that, that are attracting a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. But but this also has a budding uh, art scene here. Uh, so we want to talk to the folks over at the Brave Maker Film Festival uh, that's going to be uh, coming to this area very, very soon. Uh, we're joined now by Tony. And Tony, uh, uh, pronounce your last name for me. Gapa Stone. Gapa Stone. Yeah. Oh, Tony Gapa Stone. Yes. Yeah, to be so proud. Yes. yes. All right. So, so you know, the arts, uh, a very important part of, of Redwood City. Tell us uh, about how the arts are impacting this city. I've been here for 25 years. When I came, you heard earlier, it was called yeah. Deadwood City. Yeah. There wasn't a lot here. <laughs> and I've been in the nonprofit sector for quite some time, but I've always been into acting and storytelling mm -hmm. and filmmaking. And because I love this city so much and have been majorly inspired by film festivals like Sundance in Park City, I thought, what's happening at Sundance, I want to happen here in Redwood City. Mm -hmm. I want to bring film. I want to bring actors. I want to bring real movers and shakers mm -hmm. in the arts culture to Redwood City. So I started the Brave Maker Film Festival as a nonprofit. Five years ago? Five years ago. And then the pandemic hit. Boom. Now yes. that and we survived. Thank yeah. goodness. <laughs> yeah. So now that we're, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're easing out of it, um, what do you hope this year brings to all the artists and, and people who come to take in this art? You know, uh, I was in the parade a few days ago here in Redwood City, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we had a, a float first time ever. Linda Cardellini, actor who grew up here on uh -huh. Dead to Me in, yeah. uh, in Galaxy, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Everyone sees her and goes, wow, and like they clam around her. But there are people who are going to be the future of Linda Cardellini, yeah. right? They're going to be the future of Steven Spielberg's, Guillermo del Toro, Shonda Rhimes. They're here now, and let's support them now. Let's show up to their film fest, their film screenings. Yeah. Let's pay them yeah. for their time and support them in their endeavors. And so for the, for the uninitiated here, these film festivals really set the stage for young actors and filmmakers um, to go to the next stage of filmmaking, right? Tell us a little bit about that. It's all, you know, it's like building your portfolio, yeah. right? It's, it's getting credibility. Hey, I, I, I'm a part of the Brave Maker Film Festival. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, they, they selected you and programmed yeah. you. Maybe another film festival will too. So the, you know, my, my heart has always been as an artist, like how can I rise with others? Uh, I waited way too long to make a movie. I kind of, as an actor, I was like, well, who's gonna put me in their movie? And, yeah. and maybe somebody will book me go on auditions and you wait and you hear nothing until someone said, well, why you make your own opportunities? Why are you waiting on someone else yeah. to make your dreams come true? Yeah. Wow. So that's what we're trying to create here, that kind of culture. So, so when you say your main goal is to support the artist's yes. calling, yes. what does that mean to you? Okay, I'm gonna be super transparent. It's really hard. We're Silicon Valley, lots of wealth and generosity. Mm -hmm. We did not get a presenting sponsor this year. Wow. wow. We got a lot, uh, a lot of organizations didn't come back from last year because of budget cuts and layoffs, right? All right. the Silicon Valley cutbacks affects nonprofits like Brave Maker. Yeah. So we have been, you know, limitations breed creativity. We have been scrambling. I went door to door, restaurant to restaurant, grocery store to grocery store on my own, asking for donations to get food, to feed our filmmakers when they're coming. Wow. It's that kind of like, wow. I will do whatever it takes to make these filmmakers feel valuable because I know I've been on the other end. Yeah. I, I yeah. want to feel that support too. And you're, and you're giving back while you're still yeah. hustling. Trying. All trying. right, yeah. Tony, look, Tony great Gapistone. maker. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, July 13 to 16. Please, yeah, we have documentaries, narrative films, shorts, and a whole lot more. What a joy to meet you. Thank yeah. you. Come on and meet Solomon Hughes from HBO's Winning Time too. He's going to be one of our he, guest panelists. Did he play Kareem Abdul Jabbar? Yeah. That's right. He did. Good, yeah. good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. awesome. Show your awesome. support. Come on out. Absolutely. Yeah. I All like right. your message. Tony, Tony, thank you so thank much. You. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it.